Painting watercolours on canvas is incredibly liberating because it frees our paintings from being hidden away under glass. We can go big like the one behind me. We can mix media and collage like the uh, goldfinch here. We can do all sorts. One of the big advantages on canvas is that you can correct your mistakes really easily. That's also its disadvantage because the paint lifts so easily that doing traditional layering and glazing that we would in watercolour is incredibly hard. So I want to look at a couple of possibilities of things that you could add to your watercolour that will make that layering a lot easier. My name's Liz Chatterton. I'm a watercolour artist based in Berkshire and every week I share a tip or trick that I wish I'd known about ages ago. And this week it's all about how to layer in watercolour on canvas. Let me show you what the issue is that we're trying to fix. So this is an ordinary canvas that I put three layers of watercolour ground on and I've put one layer of watercolour on here that's got nothing added to it. That is a line of masking fluid which I'll show you in a moment. And the wonderful thing about working on watercolour ground or canvas, watercolour canvas, is that you can lift really easily. I've got a wet brush I just put a line through that uh, paint and it's lifted. Now, if I use a bit of magic eraser, which is melamine sponge, I just have to wet it, squeeze it out. And then if I rub it, say, oh, I don't know, three times through that wash, pick up the extra, you can see that I've almost got back to the white of the canvas, which is brilliant. You made a mistake, you can rectify it, which is a lot harder on paper. The downside of that is that it lifts really easily. So usually we can layer. And if we wanted to make a purple colour, I've got blue and I would just put some pink over the top in a glaze and I would get purple. The issue is that all that paint starts to move and rather than getting a crisp edge, it starts to feather out into the, the, the pink and it mixes up and I don't get that beautiful glaze. Plus side is it lifts easily, the downside is it lifts easily. And I've even found that using masking fluid, let's see, yeah, see it's doing it there. The masking fluid has pulled the paint off the surface. So what we're looking for is some way, something that we can add to our watercolour which will stabilise it, which will help it grip onto the surface even more. The watercolour ground helps and makes the surface behave a bit more like paper, but we need to get, give a little bit of help for our watercolour to make it a bit grippier. When I started working on canvas and realised the, the problem, I looked for a solution and I came up with Aquafix from Schmincke. And this you add to your washes and it increases the resistance to water. So a little bit will just stabilise your washes, a lot will make them totally waterproof. And I was looking for something that would let me still correct, but stabilise it enough that I could do things like um, layering without it all going all over the place. And Aquafix was great, but there's an issue. This is a 60 mil jar and it costs about £9.90. So it's not cheap, but you don't use much. However, it's really hard to get hold of. We can get it in the UK. I think it's quite tricky to find in the States and in other places, it's just impossible. I belong to a group on Facebook called Painting Watercolours on Canvas. And one of the members who's from Brazil, so that's Marquez Nazareno, said he just added matte varnish, acrylic matte varnish to his watercolours, just a little, and that worked for him. And I was like, oh, because this acrylic matte varnish, that's 250 mils, is just over £11. You can get matte varnish in just about every country, as far as I know, so far easier to get hold of. The question is, does it work in the same way? So we're going to do 
a, as scientifically as possible a comparison to see what happens. I have put my phthalo blue here and it's exactly the same concentration. I mixed it up in a bigger well and then divided it and I'm going to add two drops of each, then four drops, then six drops and we'll see what, what works. So first of all it's worth looking at the product and you can see the Aquafix is very thin and well it's just a sort of whitish liquid. On the other hand varnish again is a sort of whitey milky liquid but I hope you can see it's a lot lot more viscous and I am concerned that if you add a lot to your watercolour it will make your watercolour more viscous which I don't think is something that we'd want. I'm going to add a couple of drops of Aquafix here. One, two, exactly the same with the varnish. I'm going to paint my wash there. One thing I would say is if you use any of these additives do not use your best brushes and do not let your watercolour dry on your brush because we are waterproofing the paint and if it dries on the brush you're not going to get it out. Use a separate brush just to make sure I'm not contaminating anything and again I'm going to just paint our square, well not square, rectangle, Let's see what happens. Always add the additives to your wash. Don't put them, especially if you've got using little pans, if you add these to the pans it will seal the paint because it is waterproof. So just go careful. And the other thing to know is that it will really stain a plastic palette. So if possible, use ceramic. Now I'm going to carry on adding a couple more drops and then a couple more again to get it up to the six. I'll swatch this out We'll come back when it's dry and do a comparison. I'm going to do the lifting with the brush first. So that was the two drops of Aquafix. It still lifts very easily. Let's go the four. Ah. It's lifting but not as easily. And let's go for the six. Very little lifting do over here with the varnish. Yep, that lifts pretty easily. Sorry, my brush was quite wet there. That's the four drops still lifting pretty easily. And I'm not seeing a huge progression there, which surprises me. So we get back almost to the white there. Lifting but not too much. Yeah, so definitely less lifting on those ones. Actually funny, that didn't seem to lift particularly easily whereas it did with the, the brush. Less so, and yeah, less so again. Now let's see whether that masking fluid, yeah, see there with the two drops of Aquafix, the masking fluid has pulled off some of the, the paint. Pulled off a less there. And still a tiny bit, but hardly there. Over here, yeah, you see, pulled off loads of the paint there. Still pulling off paint of the four drops, and still pulling off paint with the six drops, but not as badly. And my final test is the layering test. If you remember, I've got my well, it's actually magenta, Quin magenta here, and I am oops, I'm going to put a layer and just see whether we get bleeding through or how it layers. Right. So, what does that tell us? OK, 
can you see here so this is the varnish two drops can you see that blue coming off so two drops of varnish absolutely hasn't fixed that now just to make sure it's not contaminating the rest of my little scientific experiment let's see by the time we get to four drops it doesn't seem to be bleeding out and I'm getting a relatively sharp line there and six drops I'm not seeing any bleeding I'm not getting bleeding on the two drops there and then further down it be worth letting that dry just to to see because we know how things shift around a bit when as watercolour dries and then we can reach some conclusions and the first thing I just want to move it around so that you can see that there isn't any shine to it and then if we compare the results I had about five millilitres in of paint and I added the two drops and this started to stabilise. I didn't get any bleeding on the, um, the, the glazing, but I did with the varnish with only two drops there. But it was still very easy to lift and the, the masking fluid lifted. So I'd say that wasn't quite stabilised enough. With the four drops, yes you could still lift it but not a lot came off with the masking fluid and it started to get trickier to lift it with the magic eraser so with the aquas fix i would say two to four drops in about five say cubic centimeters is probably about the right amount but if i look at the varnish say it lifted incredibly easily the the masking fluid just took it off and we did get that bleeding from the blue into the pink glaze and then when we had four it was still lifting very easily uh, with the masking fluid though we didn't really get any any bleeding of the glazing so that was good but once we get down to these six drops it felt stable we get nice crisp edge so there really wasn't any mixing of those glazes so i would say for the varnish the six drops was about right and here we reckoned it was the three to four drops in fact why don't i just write that three to four drops would have been about my perfect and six drops would have been about my perfect for the varnish so it really appears that adding a few drops of acrylic varnish to your washes it doesn't uh, impact the final look of it but it just stabilizes things enough for you to be able to glaze if you're somewhere where you can't get hold of aquafix i think adding that matte varnish is a really good option and would let you really extend the way with you work with watercolors on canvas i'm just going to repeat those warnings though make sure it doesn't dry on your brushes because you won't get it out make sure you don't add it to your pans of watercolor you need to put it into a palette make sure it doesn't dry on your plastic palette because it will stain and another thing is that you will not be able to reactivate your watercolors the next day like you would be able to do with ordinary watercolors because of course they will become far more waterproof so you might just need to wrap your palette in some plastic to stop it evaporating if you're leaving it overnight i think this might be a bit of a game changer for people who live in countries where you can't get hold of aquafix or if you're on a tighter budget and it's out of your price range acrylic varnish will be lots cheaper but you need probably one and a half to two times as much to get the same effect